Well, thanks again for joining me in Matthew 10. We're moving on to 26. And Jesus thought, when you're maligned, what do you do? When people speak evil about you, what do you do? He says, have no fear of them. So one of the things that we can face when we are sharing God's word, we are doing God's work, we are preaching and teaching the gospel, and we face opposition, many times we may take a step back in the light of opposition, out of fear. But Jesus said clearly, have no fear of them. And there are many things going on in the world today that can drive fear into the heart of the Christian. And many people have turned away from Christ. Many people have stopped witnessing and saying, I'm a Christian. Many have um, even stopped living for God. He says, but you have no fear of them. For nothing is covered that will not be revealed or hidden that will not be made known. He says, listen, every single thing in this world, things that are hidden, and there are so many things that are hidden, things we don't see, people are living lives of deceit or they may have an agenda and it's being covered. You know, there's so much deception going on in the world. He said, it is going to be revealed, but don't you be afraid of anyone. We're confident in Jesus. We're confident in who God is. We're confident in the scriptures. We're confident in the life of Jesus, the death of Jesus, the resurrection of Jesus. We're confident in what the Holy Spirit is doing in our lives. So we do not need to be afraid. He says, what I tell you in the dark, say in the light. <clears throat> what you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetop. So go ahead, share the message, preach the word, teach the word, talk about Jesus. He says, and do not fear. Again, do not fear those who kill the body. Certainly, believers are going to be assaulted. They are going to be, they're going to be injured. They're going to be imprisoned. They're even going to be killed. And there are many, many, there are more martyrs today than there ever was before. And that will continue to happen until Jesus comes. He says, do not fear those who kill the body. And as Christians, we have to be ready ready to lay down our lives too many of us we want to protect ourselves we want comfort we want security and we have very little understanding of what the gospel is calling for us what the word of god is calling it says do not especially in this day and time do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul you see our soul is for all eternity and our souls lie in the hands of god they may kill your body, but they cannot destroy your soul because your soul is saved for eternity. You can, they cannot kill a soul. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Those who want to take the side of Satan, those who want to take the side of the world, will stand before God who can destroy both body and soul in eternal hell. So for the Christians today, I say to the believers, to the followers of Christ, I'll remind you of the words of Jesus. Do not fear. Do not fear. Do not fear. No matter what is going on in the world, do not be afraid. Be a Christian. Continue to hold on to Jesus and stand for him. Bless God.